What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jake here, aka Brushstrokes or Z Man. And today I wanted to bring you a quick little video on something that I use in painting in a few different areas um, that might help you um, as well. So, this t is one of the little tables, it's just a little Harbor Freight table. I've had this almost since I started painting. I paint almost everything on this and I didn't want it being covered with paint. I wanted to have a nice flat table. You know, I didn't want paint dry and glooping up on it. So a nice way to keep this clean and protected is Glad Wrap Press and Seal. I've kept this thing covered since I've painted. Look at that. Nice and clean. Obviously, I got something on it before, but it's a nice, easy way to keep your surfaces nice and clean. Uh, this stuff is sticky, so it's really easy to use. Cut some off. Let's give a little stretch. have it nice clean surface now there are a couple other uses for this stuff too that i found coming in pretty handy which i will show you now another great use for this is using it as transfer paper uh, this is a super cheap transfer paper now keep in mind this is a super light tack material um, so sometimes it is hard to get the vinyl off of the backing um, it doesn't the vinyl doesn't quite stick to the press and steel uh, very good so sometimes you got to pick the vinyl off um, as you're you know peeling uh, the vinyl off the backing there so uh, you just got to be careful with it but one thing that it's really great for is uh, the tack in it is great for transferring vinyl onto t-shirts uh, if you don't want to use like a hard stencil you want to use a crisp you know vinyl stencil um i was never able to transfer vinyl onto a t-shirt just because transfer tape had too much tack and it would pull it off the t-shirt but the press and seal seems to be perfect for doing this uh, you do have to be a little careful and ginger it a little bit um, but it does work great for you know uh, transfer tape onto t-shirts it has the right tack the press and seal will come off the vinyl will stay on the t-shirt so great great use um, for it there and then another great use is using it as masking so here i have the vinyl applied on the t-shirt and then i just used it here around the t-shirt as masking i would highly recommend and i did um, go ahead and put masking tape um, around these edges here between the vinyl and the press and seal all right so one thing i wouldn't recommend with press and seal is using it for masking on your hard surfaces um, you can definitely do it but if you do just be cautious that it can leave a little bit of residue Let's see if it does it you, know, you can't really tell on this fresh panel, but if you're working on top of a painted surface, uh, this stuff will definitely uh, leave a little bit of residue behind. Uh, it's not the end of the world if that happens. It does clean off pretty easy. Uh, whatever kind of cleaner you use, whatever pre-clean you use for painting, takes the whatever residue this leaves right off. But... Uh, use it at your own risk on top of painted surfaces or any hard surfaces. Just make sure you clean it up before you move on to your next step of painting. And while I got this out, I want to give a shout out to Steve Courtney, Scale Customs on YouTube. You have to go check out his channel. 
He does some amazing scale model work, uh, really highly detailed, as you can see from the picture here on his card. Uh, really high detailed scale models, so I'll leave a link right up here to his channel and down in the description as well. And thank you as well, Steve. So, All right, so that's really all that I've got for you. Um, I hope this is a helpful tip and helps you out. Till the next one. Keep those brushes stroking.